Toothpaste can be used as an emergency treatment to dry out pimples and reduce their healing time. However, toothpaste can be quite irritating on the skin, so it's important that you use the treatment sparingly and also use the correct technique. The main ingredient that can irritate the skin is sodium lauryl sulfate. So choosing the correct toothpaste is all important. Go for an all white version, not a toothpaste with red, blue or green stripes. This is because the ingredients which help to dry up pimples such as baking soda, hazel, hydrogen peroxide and trislosan are contained within the white part of the toothpaste, whilst the coloured sections may contain ingredients which will irritate the skin. Make sure you also avoid teeth whitening toothpastes. Whitening toothpastes contain bleaching agents for making teeth whiter, which may actually bleach or burn the skin causing patchiness. Steer clear of gel toothpastes. Gel type toothpastes have a different formulation than actual paste toothpaste, so you may be lacking the active ingredients necessary to effectively dry out the pimples. Avoid using it as it will not do your skin any good. Choose a toothpaste with a lower fluoride content. Fluoride is added to over 95% of toothpaste in the US as it helps to remove dental plaque and prevent gum disease. However, many people actually suffer from mild topical allergy to fluoride and it may cause skin rash if it comes into contact with the skin. The best option is to go organic. Organic toothpaste are actually probably your best option when it comes to treating pimples. They contain no fluoride unless it's naturally derived and no nasty hormones, pesticides or other chemicals. On the other hand, they still contain the ingredients necessary for drying out the pimple, such as baking soda and tea tree oil, with the addition of natural soothing antibacterial substances like aloe and eucalyptus oil. So how do you actually apply toothpaste on your acne? Well you need to wash your face well with warm water and choose your favourite cleanser then pat dry to lock in the moisture. Squeeze a little toothpaste onto your index finger or the back of your hand. A pea sized amount should be enough depending on the number of pimples you're treating. Apply a small amount of toothpaste directly onto the pimple. You will only need to apply a very small amount of toothpaste to the pimple for the treatment to be effective. Just make sure you apply the toothpaste directly onto the pimple itself, not onto the surrounding skin. Toothpaste should never be spread all over the skin or used as a face mask. Leave the toothpaste to dry on the skin anywhere from 2 hours or overnight for the best results. However, if you have extremely sensitive skin, it may be best to remove the toothpaste after 15 minutes to half an hour. It really is a case of trial and error to see how sensitive your skin is. Personally, I would not put a band-aid or plaster over the spot because it could spread the toothpaste and it won't be able to breathe. You can then gently wash the toothpaste off with a cloth or towel. Repeat no more than four times a week because you don't want to irritate the skin. After that, you should see an improvement to the zit. Finally, here's a last word of caution. Be aware that the toothpaste is not a dermatologist approved acne treatment, although it's a popular homemade remedy that's been around for years. Regular toothpaste also contains none of the antibacterial ingredients that make over-the-counter creams more effective in treating and preventing pimples. For this reason, toothpaste should only be used as an emergency treatment for pimples. Remember to stop using it if you get a bad reaction. I hope now you've learnt the safe way to use toothpaste to remove pimples and acne. And if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and bye for now.